Sometimes it's pretty hard to find the probability of an event occurring. And so what we do is we actually use the complement of the event to find the probability we're looking for. So what the complement is is basically the probability of something not happening. Okay? And typically the key word you're going to see in these instances is at least. So at least is telling us that we're dealing with a number of different situations. Behind me I have a pretty straightforward example. Okay? So we have a chart that says the number of hours people spend watching TV and the number of kids who spend each time period. Okay? We're working for the probability that you watch at least one hour of TV of someone just chosen at random. Okay. So if we're seeing at least, what that would have to be is the probability that they watch one to two plus the probability they watch two to three plus the probability they do three to four so on and so forth. Each of these isn't that hard in its own right. We have 105 students total, so basically probably they watch 1 to 2 is just going to be 30 out of 105. Okay? Add that to 2 to 3, that was going to be 10 out of 105. Okay? So we could add up these all together fairly easily, but this is an example to show you just sort of how the complement works. So what we can do is we know that if we add up all of these, not just the, with one hour, we add 0, all the way to 5 plus, we're going to have a probability of 1. Everything, if you do choose everything in an event, the probability has to be 1. So what we can do is then the, this probability you watch at least one hour is going to be the same thing as 1 minus the probability of not 1 plus hours. So one plus, this is the complement, not watching more than an hour. And this one is really easy to follow because not one plus hours is just saying we're watching to zero to one. Okay, so 20 students watch zero to one hours, and so all we have to do is just calculate one minus 20 over 105, which is going to give us 85 hundred fifths. Okay, we could add up these five categories, four categories, and we should get the same thing. So 30 plus 10 is 40, plus 40 is 80, plus 5 is 85. Okay? So using the fact that the probability of all events add up to 1, we can easily use the complement when things can get a little bit more complicated. Okay? So we have a couple general formulas for using this. And basically, the main thing is, is that the probability of an event plus the probability of its complement, written E to this little c, is going to be 1. The probability of everything has to be 1. And then, basically, you can subtract over either of these to the other side. And so you get the probability of the event is equal to 1 minus the probability of a complement. Okay? And like I said, this example is pretty straightforward. But when we get to more complicated probabilities, this can come in really handy.